Hello everyone, it's Michael Lazard here. I welcome back to the channel. And before I begin today's video, I would like to remind you guys that if you are interested in taking private lessons with me over the summer, my email is linked in the description below. Shoot me an email and we can discuss scheduling and pricing. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing ESON. Now, this concept will be divided into two videos. The first video will discuss how to read ESON and what ESON is. And the second video will be how to perform ESON and making sure that you are in tune with the chanter. So to begin, ESON is the drone that backs up with the melody of Byzantine chant. So what is the drone exactly? It is a steady pitch that is held. Now, Ison gives the Byzantine music a second dimension. So it is very important to know what Ison is and how to do it if somebody would like you to do it for them. Having Ison in the music will greatly improve the quality of the sound and make the music sound a lot more spiritual. So to begin, to know how to sing Ison, you have to know some of the Byzantine scales. Now, if you are a complete beginner and you don't know any Byzantine scales, make sure to ask the, the head chanter or an assistant chanter to help you starting off with your ESOM. Now the four scales that you should know are the diatonic scale, the hard chromatic scale, the soft chromatic scale, and the inharmonic scale. Now if you're confused by what this means, I will link my website below that has explanations for every single scale. Now the way you begin ESOM is by knowing what points on the scale the ESOM will resolve around. So for example, in tone 1, you would have the e son resolving around pa and ga, or tone 8, ni and di, right? So when you're starting off with e son, you should try to listen to some chants and familiarize yourself with what other people do for e son. Now, a lot of chants and a lot of music do have the e son written in. For example, when you see a chant, a top of the chant you will find a letter in parentheses. Now the letter in parentheses represents the position in the scale which the Eastern should sing. Now the scale refers back to the Byzantine scales as previously mentioned. If you are not familiar with Byzantine scale, this is what it looks like. Ni pa vulga vi kezoni. Now you should try to familiarize yourself with both the English letters and the Greek letters because a lot of chants will switch between using Greek or using English. But most of the time, it's going to be Greek. Now, when you know these scales well, for example, if I'm on Pa and I see myself going to Ra, I have to know the interval between Pa and Ra. Well, this is great for beginners because that makes your brain work and think, hey, that's up too. So, Pa, Ra, Pa, for example. So now we know the scales we should know for doing Ison. We know the bare bones of how to read Ison. And we know that to do Ison, we should be familiar with some of the intervals. Now, I'm going to do a couple practices. You will see a chant. What I will do is sing the chant, and you will do the Ison for it. First, I will do the Ison, and second, I will do the melody. While I'll do the melody, you will do the Ison. So here we have this hymn called Let Every Breath Praise the Lord. It is in Plego fourth mode or tone eight. So this is going to be diatonic on knee. So remember, you have to know the scale as well to do Ison. So ni pa vulga di kezoni. If you look here, it starts on ni. Ni pa ni. Now, in order to do the Ison, you have to have a good grasp on the Greek alphabet and the Greek scales. Now, you don't have to know how to read Greek perfectly, but knowing the Greek letters will help you get these scales right. So, ni, pa, ni, and then it goes to the, the. Now, if you're having trouble with these jumps, you can try to count up to the. So, ni, pa, vulga, the, before you get there. Now, do this in your head. Try not to do this out loud because it might mess up the chanter. But if you really need help to figure out the interval between ni and the, uh, singing up to it can greatly help. So to begin, I will sing this melody and I'll 
put on the e -son. And then I will sing it again without the e -son, And then you can do it yourself. So let's begin. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. All right. Now I'll do it again uh, without the Easton on the back. So let's begin. You should do the Easton now to practice it yourself. Let every breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. All right. Now, there are a few other characters that you should be familiar with. So the next important character you should know is the mazi. So when, that would be when they have the M on top of the notes. Now the way I like to think of this is you sing the melody. So for example, uh, in this piece, the ison will switch from ni to the melody itself. So to practice this, I will sing the melody from here to here, and then do ison, and then do without ison. So here. Mm. I'll do it again without the ison, and then you can practice it by yourself. So, I hope you found the practice helpful. If you would like more practice with ison, remember. I'm giving private lessons over the summer. If you want practice with Eason or Byzantine or private singing lessons, just remember to shoot me an email. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, I'd greatly appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Other than that, I'll see you on the next one and have a great day.